Happy spooky season. So there comes a time once a year for every vintage guy or gal where their local Halloween stores start selling their style in the form of costumes. So I decided to take a trip to my local Halloween store and take a gander at what was there for the vintage options before I got distracted. Around me a familiar There was a couple 50s costumes that weren't too, too bad. I've seen worse. So, on that note, I've got my coffee. I've got probably way too many candles. <laughs> my house is gonna be all sorts of smells. And I've got my comfy socks that have owls on them. <laughs> and I'm ready to talk costumes. So while there are some good Halloween costumes for, you know, 50s and 40s and pinup, there are also some not so good ones. So I thought it might be fun if we go through some of the worst of the worst. And then I thought it might be fun to give you a couple options out of stuff that I have in my closet and see if I can make some costume ideas for you all. It's kind of a mishmash of a video, but you know, Ain't that just the way. I'm not looking for historical accuracy in these costumes. I think it's totally the norm to kind of go stereotypical with these costumes. Trust me, before I knew anything about vintage, I also partook in these more stereotypical costumes. It's much easier to run out to a Halloween store and just grab a whole package of everything you need than to kind of assemble it yourself. But some of us like to do that, and some of you maybe don't want to look like you're wearing a store-bought costume. <laughs> So, let's begin the search. Am I crooked? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yes I am. What are those buttons for? Believable. Now listen, I'm not here to bash these costumes because they're sexy. I have no problem with sexy costumes. You know what? You do you. If you got it, flaunt it. But some of these are just plain ugly. <laughs> Paper magic women's French kiss pinup girl costume. Mm-hmm. What? For the love of God. Not the cherries. The cherries. Who are those gloves protecting? This one I actually like. She looks like she could kick my ass. No. Moving on. For $54? What is that hammer for? She wild, but also professional. What are those? Look, I get it. It's Halloween, dressing up as a different decade is fun, and sometimes grabbing one of those costumes is the easiest thing to do. But I'm gonna show you how to achieve those kind of looks and maybe a few more ideas for hopefully cheaper. And if not cheaper, then a little bit more unique. So here we go. So starting off with this 50s look, what you'll need is a white button-up blouse, this can be vintage or modern, a circle skirt which you can find pretty cheap on Amazon or eBay or Lindy Bop, some saddle shoes, if you don't have saddle shoes, flats or oxfords will do, and then a belt to tie it off. For the hair, you're going to take your bangs, put the rest of your hair in a high ponytail on the back, hairspray the ends of your bangs, Roll the ends around your fingers and roll it back up towards your scalp and then pin it in place. And then finish up your ponytail with a hair scarf. What you'll need for this military look is a tan or an olive blazer, this can be vintage or modern, a white blouse underneath with a black tie, and then a pencil skirt that's similar to the color of your blazer. And then put a belt on top of the blazer. For the shoes, pretty much any brown heel will do, but the more vintage you can get it to look, the better. For the victory rolls, you're going to take the first section of hair, hairspray the ends, and then wrap around your fingers the opposite direction that we did the 50s roll. Roll it up towards your scalp, 
pin in place, and then do the other side. For the back of my hair, I used a hair rat, and then I wrapped the rest of my hair around it and pinned it in place. I have some tutorials on this in case you're a little lost. For the teddy girl, what you'll need is a white blouse, a black blazer, vintage or modern, some sort of black ribbon or tie, either high-waisted trousers or high-waisted jeans, and then black ballet flats. For this hair, you're going to put all your hair up in a high bun, wrap it around and push forward to give that volume, and then you're going to pin it, and there you go. For the housewife look, you will need a retro-inspired dress, which you can get cheap on Amazon or eBay or vintage reproduction sites like Wendy Bop, a vintage-y little apron, and then for the shoes, pretty much any heels, but keep an eye out for Mary Janes. And a good thing about this costume is it's pretty easy to get it a little creepy. Please, no real axes. For this little vintage nerd, you will need a collared boss any color, and then a knit sweater to go over it, and then suspenders, and then any kind of skirt you want, even a pencil skirt. For the shoes, any Oxfords will do, and then the glasses. For the mime, you will need a striped shirt, vintage or modern, high-waisted black pants or trousers, suspenders, a black beret, and then saddle shoes or any other kind of black and white shoes you want. The makeup is pretty easy to do and pretty customizable. <laughs> the bearded lady is actually pretty easy. All you need is a white tank top, high-waisted trousers, suspenders, and then knee-high boots. For the beard, you're going to use spirit gum and crepe hair. Put the spirit gum, wait for it to dry, cut the crepe hair, and lay it on so that it looks natural. This does get pretty tricky and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> And that is it. Ta-da! I hope that you guys found this helpful and maybe found a little bit of inspiration or that you just like seeing the different costumes. <laughs> if you want to let me know what you're being for Halloween, I'd love to hear. I, for one, do not have a plan yet and that is a problem. <laughs> I love you whether you're new or old to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Where stores start selling their style in and the store starts selling their style. Stores start selling. Stores start selling their style. Hmm. Where stores. St <laughs> nope. Hesitation. There it is. Stores start still. Stores start selling their style. <laughs> oh, his hackles are up. He looking like a hyena. You are just on edge. You need a massage. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of a. Mmm. That's cold. Spooky. Spook.